and welcome to Jubilee Road for another model locomotive review. Today we are looking at the double O gauge Hornby Peckett W4 040 saddle tank. So just before we get into the review of this lovely Hornby model I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone. I have now reached 4,000 subscribers just reached that uh, in the last day or two um, and also another big milestone for the channel someone did let me know I have just reached over a million views now on the channel so guys thank you so much two milestones in a couple of days of each other that is really quite nice so then as I said today we're going to look at this really really lovely little model as you can see it's pretty tiny but uh, yeah, let's have a look at it, shall we? So if we have a look at the end of the box then, it is number R3615 Peckett W4040 Works Peckett number 560. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I've been after one of these for a long time. Um, I didn't get the first batch of these which were out uh, over a year ago now must be uh, I did try to get one of the first batch on eBay But you have a lot of greedy people on eBay selling them for way too much So this one is actually a current release uh, From Hornby in the last week or two and it's in a nice livery. So uh, let's get into the box Standard uh, packaging we all know how this is now don't really need to show you anymore, but it's just keeping uh, keeping the videos as uh, sim similar as possible if it wants to come out there we go can be a bit tricky guys but be careful when you do take your models out of the box obviously so then as usual we have a little bit of paperwork hardly anything in this box as you can see there gives you uh, running hints general information um, I believe the fit in the decoder is in here yes it is so plenty of uh, things to have a look at. You can see diagrams on uh, oiling points fitting the decoder and taking the body off. So keep this piece of paper. Nice and boring stuff over with. So let's get into the box. Now you can see how s small this loco really, really is. Absolutely tiny thing. Right, we just lift up this tab and here is the loco itself. Now you've heard me go on a lot about um, loco weights yeah guys you're not gonna have a problem with this this weighs a lot for its size so what we're gonna do then we're gonna put it on the track as usual and have a closer look at this uh, model so then let's have a look at the model in a bit more detail so we're gonna start here with the front we do have the uh, smaller tension lock coupler but on this model as you can see it is well it looks huge but it's really not we do have metal buffers which are unsprung but uh, as you know guys that really doesn't bother me we do have this separately fitted smoke box dart which is really nice uh, a bit further up we do have a handrail going across the front and we do have a lamp iron in the middle you do have also have the realistic hook as you can see in the middle there on the buffer beam and Plenty of rivets to uh, have a look at on the front of the model. So now we have a look at the side of the model. And being so small, I can get the whole of this little locomotive in one shot, which is uh, really quite nice. So let's have a look at the details then. We've got a nice handrail there running down the uh, side of the water tanks. Uh, we've got the let the numbering, sorry, not lettering. It is number 560, really nicely printed, and it looks really, really well done. We do have a more legible writing, as you can see there on the running plate. Peckett and Sons uh, works in Bristol. You can just see there, uh, printed really nice, quite small as well. Uh, you got further down then we go to the wheels and the rods looking really nice and I do like the fact that the rods are picked out in the, the red colour. Uh, also the lining there you can see at the pistons is really done really nicely. Uh, gives the model more detail and we do have pipe work there just underneath the water tanks. Uh, if you go a bit further back towards the cab area you do have a builder's plate 
uh, the lining again is done really nice and obviously you've got the uh, steps which are leading up into the cab area so this model is shaping up to be really nice so we'll just have a little look at the rear of the model then again really nicely detailed we do have the metal buffers again we have the coupling there in the middle uh, the realistic hook is there as well uh, it's actually really painted very nicely as well uh, we do have the glazing which is looks to be all in place and looking really nice we have another lamp iron there and you can see also handrails just at the side of the cab and also you got more rivet in there uh, picked out so this model for its size is very well detailed And then you can see just a quick look at the detail then across the top of the model. You see the whistle there uh, on top of the cab, steam dome and the uh, funnel itself. Really well modelled by Hornby. Considering the uh, this model's really small size, Hornby have gone to the trouble of fitting a very, very well detailed cab interior. You can see all the pipe works there, uh, the gauges, the uh, levers and everything is all picked out really really well again for such a small model that is pretty impressive So now let's get to the running quality of the model Right now I've got the uh, little packet on the line just before we go forward with the running uh, This is a DCC ready model at the moment and you do need a four pin decoder to fit into this model um, yes, before you do ask, they can be fitted with sound because I've had a sound fitted packet here at the layout um, quite some time ago and it's well worth it, really nice. And a lot of the model is actually uh, made from die cast. So that is a massive improvement um, on haulage capacity. You will have no problems with this uh, pulling the length of trains that it would have in real life. So yeah, really well done. So let's see how it runs then. This should be interesting considering it's got such a short wheelbase. So let's have a look. Take it away, little Peggett. Well, that is actually really good. There was no hesitation and virtually no motor noise to speak of either. Yeah, really nice run in there actually. I'm really happy with that. What a lovely smooth little runner this is. Again, as usual, straight out of the box, no running. Yeah, really nice runner this, guys. No problems straight out of the box with it. So yeah, really nice. So I think the next thing uh, to do is send this lovely little loco for its first run uh, around Jubilee Road and see especially how it copes with point work. I got a funny feeling it might not like them, so uh, we'll see what happens. So, uh, peck it, off you go. And there we go guys, that was the uh, Peckett's um, first little run around the layout. And I've got to be honest, I am really, really impressed um, considering such a small wheelbase. Now, 
it only hesitated a tiny bit on one of the points here on the layout. It went through the others okay, so whether that's just a slightly older point or needs a bit of track cleaning, possibly, but I didn't see any major problems. But on saying that, uh, I do think this model would benefit from the new Stay Alive um, capacitors than you can get for model locos these days. I think it would benefit for one of those uh, if you're running a shunting layout. It would re I think it would need it to be honest, but on standard DC it runs more than good enough for you to uh, have enjoyment out of the model. So then basically conclusion. What do I think of this model? Well straight up it's my opinion yes but this is up probably up there with one of Hornby's best models. There is to me there's no quality issues at all with the model. It's well built. It feels quality even when you pick the model up and the running quality is well it's, it's coming up to perfection to be honest. I've got no problems with it running around this quite large layout and um, yeah the overall model is well it's brilliant and I have to give it 10 out of 10. Um, let me know if you have any experiences with the models, uh, it's always nice to hear from you. Um, so yeah, 10 out of 10 for this model. Now, if you want me to do a comparison video with the Hatton's Andrew Barkley 040, I will do that. We'll put them side by side and let's find out which is the best one. So in the comment sections, let me know if that's something you uh, would want me to do. So again guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget the Facebook page. I'm always on there. Uh, have a chat with me. I put pictures up and little sneak things uh, Pictures and videos are coming up on the channel. So you uh, Build suspense. I suppose it does guys, doesn't it? So yeah, that's the end of today's review Again, lovely little model well worth a buy if you're into your uh, steam locomotives I'll be back here at Jubilee Road or on location very soon. Bye everyone